Hi there, I'm Frost. How are you? How are you? Yeah, welcome back to another Overwatch video. Today, we're going to be talking about the, uh, you know, hero changes for Overwatch 2. Yes, very interesting content for my channel. I'm sure some of you have probably already heard them if you're very active in the Overwatch community. But you know what, I'm going to give my take on them, because why not? As I said, content. So yeah, there's that. Um, so if you're not aware, basically a bunch of uh, pro players went to Hawaii and they, you know, once they did their pro league stuff, basically got to play a build of Overwatch 2. And it was uploaded to the, uh, you know, Play Overwatch uh, YouTube channel and stuff, so basically everyone got to see it. I believe it was live streamed. I don't know, I didn't watch the live stream, if it even was live streamed, but I think it was. But yeah, basically um, a bunch of hero changes are going to come to Overwatch 2. Um, especially some big ones I want to talk about. And yeah, it's all fun. I'll also be mentioning recently the um, game developer asked me anything that went down on Reddit. Because I think there's a few interesting bits and pieces in there that I just want to, you know, discuss. Now obviously, since this is like a, not like a beta, but like an alpha, I want to say. Like an alpha build of the game. These numbers, these things might change before the game is actually released and God knows when. So take this video more or less with a grain of salt, but let's get into it, shall we? I think we've rambled for long enough, let's get into it. We're going to start with the first role of tank, because I think that's going to be the most changed. Now obviously we had the news a while ago that Overwatch 2 is going to switch to a 5v5 instead of the 6v6 that we know and play today. So obviously tanks now are going to be more impactful on a match than they are now as there's only one of them and whether you're like the 5v5 idea or not whether you don't that's you know unnecessary to this conversation that's a discussion for another time um but it's gonna make tanks more impactful because now they're more required to do things so you know you're more required to protect your team as reinhardt you're more required to get grab good grabs to help the team fight as Zarya. You're more required to get a good dive as Wrecking Ball or Winston or Diva, in order to make you know a good team fight. But there's a lot of changes to the heroes, some of which are not mentioned, such as Arissa or Sigma, and ones that are lightly skimmed over are like Diva, Roadhog, and Zarya. But we kind of get a feature for Zarya where she's getting you know. I think it's still two bubbles, but the cooldowns increase. I don't actually know. This is just a speculation from what I've heard from others. But as I said, those those tanks were kind of skimmed over. But main tanks are going to be a lot stronger in Overwatch 2. You know, to protect their teams more, I guess. With the likes of, well, at BlizzCon Online, or yeah, for the 2021, uh, we got news that Reinhardt was going to be able to cancel his... Um, charge and he's going to receive two fire strikes so that's you know that's a good change for reinhardt it makes him more inclusive i guess i don't know i don't play tank so if you play tank let me know how you think of the changes but there's also the likes of road not roadhog sorry winston who's now getting an alternate fire where he basically charges up a big ball of electricity and is able to fire it fire it at the enemy team and i think that's an interesting change don't get me wrong you know it's fun to see these, as the likes of D.Va, who's a off tank, what they've probably done, as much like every D.Va change, is just either buffed or nerfed her, you know, the numbers of her, like, defence matrix or something, as they usually do with D.Va changes. But yeah, that's tank. I know I kind of lightly skimmed over it, because honestly, as I said, the, a lot of the tank heroes were skimmed over, with likes of Roadhog and Zarya and D.Va Wrecking Ball I think was he mentioned? I don't know if Wrecking Ball was mentioned and I don't mention it here I'm sorry but I don't remember a Wrecking Ball thing being mentioned so there's that but yeah as I said tanks are going to be more impactful I feel like on a team fight it just kind of depends if you're an off tank player or a main tank player that you're going to feel the difference as for now, I said, uh, this is kind of like an alpha build of the game, so, you know, do with it. Take this video with a grain of salt, basically. Now let's move to support. 
my role. Now, there's the big one going around that has every single support player shitting their pants currently. And that is the fact that healing for all support hero heroes is going to be reduced to some extent. With the likes of Anna, her, the healing on her biotic grenade was reduced, so now you still get the same amount of damage done, it's just the healing is less, um, you know, impactful, I guess. So you're not being a heal bot, and now you're more... Well, you, you have more opportunity to use it on the enemy team to build ult charge, or to help a team fight, whatever, right? Secure a couple kills, if you will. Um... You've got Mercy, whose staff is being reduced with general healing. Um, I don't know if they're going to make... I don't know if they reduced damage boost, they might have, but healing, the numbers went down a bit. And also, if you take damage, and while our support is healing you, the healing numbers is reduced even more. Now, I don't know how that system works out, don't quote me on it, but that's what, you know... This is what everyone else is saying, don't quote me on how that system works, I haven't got a fucking clue. But, that's just how it is, I guess. Then there's Brigitta, who's also getting a big change, where her shield bash is no longer going to be doing damage. No, no, sorry. It no longer stuns, sorry. It now does, I think it's 40 damage, and triggers Inspire. Which, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if it's a bug with the game or not, but apparently it also goes through shields again. So, you know, as I said about main tanks, you might be a bit fucked, you know, Reinhardt players especially. But basically, for support, the best way I can put it is your healing is going to be reduced overall for like all of us, right? But I believe it could be an opportunity for more solo, solo opportunity, if that makes sense. Like, the best way I can describe it, honestly, is your healing for everyone is going to be reduced, meaning you're not going to be a heal bot all the time, right? So people are going to be less likely to require pockets, which is fantastic, by the way, as a Mercy player. Fan-fucking-tastic, thank you. The less angry, toxic people that live in their mum's basement asking me for pockets, the more happier I am overall, so that's fantastic. But, it means the likes of, you know, secondary supports, like Zenyatta and Lucio, you can do more damage more freely now, secure a couple kills for the team fight. Even with people like Anna and Moira, you can still do it, because with less healing, and less players also, so it's 5v5 now, it means you're less likely to be a heal bot, you can have more impact on a team fight, and something that's never really happened with a support role before, is that now there's solo carry potential. I mean, really, before you had to be like a top tier god Moira and like a silver lobby in order to carry on support, basically is how it went. But now, that's not really the case. And finally, we move on to DPS. I kind of rambled with support there, but it's kind of like my role. So, you know, I feel like I should be free to ramble on about DP not, not DPS support, sorry, because it's like, you know, my role. So yeah, DPS, the final role I'll be talking about this video. Um, one of the things from the Ask Me Anything is that Doomfist is getting a major change, possibly, where they are changing him from DPS to a tank. So that's fun, isn't it? Um, yeah. And there's also the, recently, with the, you know, other things, you've got Bastion who's getting a change to make him more kind of reliable. Where now, when he's in turret form, he can move very slowly and the damage is reduced, which I think is really perfect for him. His ultimate's been changed, but now he's basically like an artillery strike, which I think is also pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's just a really fun... It, it, I don't know how you describe it, really, but it seems like Bastion, he probably still won't get played a whole lot, but he feels more included now, and you don't need to build a team comp around him, which is great, because that's what put Bastion down, really. And there's also Sombra. Um, she's also the big one that everyone's shitting their pants about. Because when she hacks you, she can see you through walls. When she hacks you, um, you know, she can do more damage to you. This, with a Zen Discord Orb, which could also be nerfed, by the way, I don't know. This is going to be catastrophic for people. And, yeah. There's just a whole bunch of changes like this, and 
I can't can't cover them all, obviously. There's also a possibility of Moira being reworked. Like, I know Super talked about how Moira was disabled along with a few other heroes. So Moira could be getting a rework, possibly to do with her orbs or, you know, whatever. But these are some basic coverage of hero changes to happen in Overwatch 2. I, as I said, I could have missed some, and if I get any wrong, do let me know. But I've been your boy Frost. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Yeah, yeah. Peace.